Good morning, you guys. I know y'all like, what in the almighty hell is going on with her hair? But anyway, as you see the title, it should be some kind of natural hair vlog video, whatever. And a lot of you guys want to know what my, my real hair looks like. I have gotten it so many times before. But I have told y'all I am completely natural. I have a little heat damage here. Um, I just took my braids down last night and I slipped on my hair. So that's why it looks like this. I got actually I have some clips I'm going to insert into this video. And I was taking my hair last night. But, um, I've been natural. See, that's another problem right here. See, my hair sheds so much. And I don't know shit about natural hair care. As far as natural being natural. And my hair is so like. Here's my length you guys. And it wouldn't even look like. Because how my shrinkage is. But my hair is pretty decent length. It comes to here. That's a pretty decent length right. And um. I don't know nothing about, I was trying to do some research on it. They said, um, I saw a couple of videos, not videos, uh, I googled natural hair or whatever, and like a lot of things popped up on Pinterest or whatever you call that, and, um, something about always deep, deep condition your hair every week. I'm like, every damn week? I can't deep condition my hair every week once I put my braids in and put them underneath my units. I mean, that's it. I mean... I make an oil it down on oil I did use to use, but I don't oil my hair very often. And I guess that's why I always get this shedding. And my hair sheds so bad. If you go back to some of my natural hair videos, when I talked about it, I, I got the shower. See, every time I touch it, but it could be like dead hair or something from like when I had my braids in all that long time. But um, my scalp is just very dingy from those braids in there. I think like a couple of months or something. I don't know. But, um,. I know there's not a lot of natural videos on here, but people are making shea butter. I don't have time to make anything. Okay, and I heard it was like something like if you have thick, coarse hair to seal your mo to seal moisture in, you use shea butter. Now I definitely have thick, super thick, coarse hair. I mean, my hair is just like ridiculously thick and. I'm so tender headed now that I have became natural. And like I said, it's been like two or three years. But um what shampoos I will be using, you guys, and conditioners. I don't have no leave in conditioners, but I'm just using what I have. And um I don't know which one to use, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm using this one right here. This the Renewing Argan, Argan Oil and Morocco Shampoo. It says a unique, um, precious blend of Argan Oil and Morocco, which instantly penetrates the hair shaft, restoring shine and softness while strengthening and creating soft, seductively uh, silky perfection. Don't know about all that. I don't need, I need all that need deep clean and detangling like this. This one over here says. But here's the um, conditioner to this. It's an intense moisturizing treatment. A unique. Oh, same thing is it. So, yeah. And then I also have my new cream of nature's with argan oil in Morocco. Same thing. I mean, from Morocco. Same thing as this, you guys. But it's, uh, also, also, these are sulfate-free. Can't use sulfate uh, products on your hair because it's very damaging. Especially to your virgin hair, too. Um, moisture and shine shampoo hydrates and detangles. Now, I didn't see no conditioner for this. So, I don't know if I should just, like, wash my hair with this and just use silicone mix. I actually used use silicone mix with the conditioner, and it made my hair super, super soft. So, what I'm thinking about doing after I finish washing my hair, I'm going to come back on camera so you can see what my hair looks like. Um, in this wet state or whatever. And, um, I'm just going to, I don't know if I'm going to blow dry it out. Because I know I have to braid it down so I can put my units back on. But I don't have time to sit around the house in the air. Matter of fact, I'm going to blow dry dry. Because when I um let it air dry, you guys, there's no way in here, hell, possible, whatever, I can comb my hair. And it makes me want to perm my hair. Go to a tool salon, tell them to get this stuff together. Because I'm to the point, actually, honestly, I'm ready to get a relaxer. But 
my husband keeps telling me not to. And a lot of my um, followers on YouTube, uh, YouTube, on Instagram, tell me, don't perm your hair, use this, use that. I mean, what works for you may work for you, but not say it would work for me. But if y'all have any good suggestion and you know, like, something that would definitely, definitely work for kink, I mean, this stuff is ratchet. I mean, I probably can calm it down a little bit, but... They said told me to do more brushing than combing, but I gotta I I gotta comb mine because I gotta break my hair down. And I mean I can't when it's like this. So from looking at it, you won't think it's the length that it's at. But it's pretty long. Because so when I did it, I actually did the big chop. I cut it down to like that much. Probably about that much. I had like a little fro. And um the hair is pretty lengthy, I would think, in my opinion. So it's definitely, I guess, healthy. It just needs some, some tender loving care. So I'll be back, you guys. So I'm going to wash my hair and I'll come back and show you my end result of this. And be sure, you guys, to help me out with my natural hair. And um, tell me what I need, need to, to uh, use, what I need to stay away from, with some good deep, deep conditioners. What moisturizer do I need to use? What stuff to seal in moisture? I heard it right as a shea butter. Um, I mean, I shit, y'all know. A lot of y'all who watch me are natural, and I mean, I'm I'm natural, but I don't know what to put on my hair. I just went natural because I got glue stuck in my hair, and I just couldn't get it out, and I just cut it off. I just said fuck it, and I'm gonna be natural. So, um. That's it. I'll be back though. So welcome back. And this is my hair washed. And everything. And you know what? That shampoo is actually really, really, really good. Um also I use my brush. My brush comb to comb out my hair when I was um get a little closer when I was washing it and I don't like I have straight strands here but they're not really straight strands there probably when I tried to fly flat iron my hair probably messed up my hair because I see oh this is like poofy right here and I can see like straight strands and this side looks like I don't know. You guys, isn't that weird? Could that be damaged? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not cutting it no more. But you guys, look, I got easily... It got to be heat damage. Look at my big old poofy, puffy hair right here, right? And then I got all these little loose strips. Should I cut this off? Should I just get the scissors and just cut this right here? All those little ends like that because my other hair right here is like so poofy like you know puffball but look how easily I can take my hands through my hair um uh, after that shampoo up because of the tanglers and I've combed it out really good and I can show you my how much hair I lost <sighs> look at all this look at all this hair could be just dead hair from the months of I don't know when I hair build up from when I um had my braids in all that long time and I finally combed it out but that is a lot of freaking hair but like they say we like one girl I forgot um her name Tiana or something she said she created the hair bible or something I watched here on YouTube she was like that's how, how much hair we lose like daily but when you see it all at once it looks like a lot but you know if you've seen it all at once, like this, it looks like a lot, but you lose hair daily if you do your hair. But that is all of my hair. So, anyway, um, I'm just going to put some oil on my hair so I can flat iron it. And what I'm using is Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. Includes your senses with this exclusive blend of coconut milk and nourish your hair while ultra whipped egg whites, protein, Add strength and uh, tongue twisted. 
um, proteins and strands to elect le elasticity along the weight list coconut oils for hydration and balance. So, mm, smells so good. So I'm just going to moisturize my hair with this. This is what I have for now. Until I go buy me something else. But I have to keep it moisturized to... Oh, and that's what it looks like. Yeah. And I was watching or reading something. It was like, don't shampoo when you wash your hair. Don't wash your ends all the time. Make sure you get your scalp. That's what it's all about. Moisturizing your, I mean, washing your scalp. Y'all see those strands? But I'm supposed to be natural, right? So why I got those straight strands? Like I said, it could be all that heat damage because my flat iron go up to like 460. And I have to flat iron my hair, try to keep it straight. When, um, when I used to try to break my hair down so I can um, put them out of my units, whatever. So, yeah. I think that's what it is. But this is it, you guys. Please leave your comments below. Rate, subscribe, comment, share, and like my video. And if you have any suggestions, anything that will help me with my hair, please be sure to um, leave everything below because I need a lot of help. I want good natural products, nothing with harmful substances in there. But um, I am very proud of this product. Because I can comb through my hair. Really good. So it's just going to make it a little easier when I blow dry it. <laughs> so yes to all my natural sisters out there. I guess I'm supposed to be team natural. Whatever. Don't know. I'm just team Avis. But this hair is in its own league. Look at it. <laughs> so uh i see you guys next time please be sure to help your girl out and um leave all your suggestions below on what to use what not to use good brand products bad things to stay away from all that good type of stuff how to keep my hair moisturized good deep conditioner relief and conditions i don't have to rinse out my hair to keep my hair moisturized all those great things you know so yeah so thanks for watching my natural hair blog journey today and also what is, what is this called? My wash day. So um I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye babies. Love you. Oh, follow me on Instagram, Ms. Redbone2010. And Mrs. Redbone2010 underscore. Bye loves.